Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Unicorn Overlord. The last time we looked- <gasps> There's a blacksmith! Hello, I need you. I need access to you. Okay, cool, so that's something that we're gonna be working on <laughs> this time. Uh, also talking to these other characters, I suppose. Hello, strange magic flows forth from the statue. It's as though my soul has been cleansed, yet filled with vigor in the same breath. Okay. We're honored by what you've done for a town as modest as ours. Merely let me know if there's any way I can return the favor. Well, let's see what we got here. I do have enough Alberch lumber for you. So go ahead and enjoy that. Oh, what generosity. We'll have to make sure it doesn't go to waste. Alright. Neat. Station of guard. Luckily, we just got humorous. Do let what me know do you have? Wingline standard. Sorry, we're going to row of allies buffed based on the number of flying allies in the row. One grants 20% crit rate, two grants 20% accuracy, three grants 20% attack? Oh my god. Okay. May the Father bless you. Um, that is interesting. The only problem I have with that is it does not give initiative. So... Wide Pursuit, the Outlaw's Bracelet, Follow-Up Attack, a row of enemies. That's pretty good. I'll get it. May the Father bless you. Uh, as far as other things go, the Vorpal weapons are pretty good. Gives you extra initiative and some max HP. We don't have a Vorpal spear. Let's also you. grab. May let's just grab one of everything. You. May the Father bless you. There we go. That looks pretty I good. Hope you found it. I think the Father's blessed Welcome us. To my I'm not positive, but uh, I think we may be blessed by the Father. Hello. Suppose when I think about it, all I can really offer is my adoring gaze. Oh, well, thank you. Stores in town have freshened up their inventories, and it's entirely because of you. I'm sure, you'll find something nice if you're ever in the market for a new item or two. Umaris is the only family I have left in this world. I wish she could stay with me, but I know there's still a war to wage. I'll try to help however I can. Though Albion may be permitted, may have submitted to Zenorban rule, its pious heart beats stronger than ever. With such fervent faith at our backs, we shall restore our homeland no matter how long it takes. Umaris is a great fighter, but she sometimes lets her emotions get the better of her. Let's try not to tease her too much. Keep this between us, please. Fate rests in your hands. Okay. And here is the blacksmith. Lenora's finally out of the picture, huh? Took you long enough. Might not look the part, but I'm a blacksmith and a damn good one at that. Let's bring me some fevrite and I'll have your equipment looking better than ever. Enhance your weapons in exchange for a valuable stone that is fevrite. And some high quality fevrite. What can I help you with? Okay, and I can pick whichever one I want and I can upgrade them. Okay. So we have to be very careful with what we buff here. Um, this is just everything. So the King's Blade Cornix is probably a pretty good option. It just gets 10 more attack. Honestly, upgrading all of the these weapons is probably a good call. Um, yeah, that's probably a pretty good call. Uh, King's Lance, let's see. Do I have the bow? It doesn't seem like I do. Don't have that. And now we're back to shields. Um, so otherwise, I could upgrade that staff that Osh is using. The Telerik staff. Make it even stronger, because it's a very good weapon. I think upgrading the King's Blade Cornix and putting that on someone I actually use Sorry, uh... God, I keep wanting to call you Ludwig. Um... Sorry, you. Uh, God, what was your other name? <laughs> it's been so long! Uh, obviously upgrade the King's King's Axe as well. Alright, so we have two more Fevrite left. Okay, so who do I want to put that on? Um... Obviously I don't think... Ah, uh, your- Clive has Zephyrus' uh, spear. I don't think, uh, Elaine's a, the shout for, uh, sword. Who else uses a sword that would be very, very powerful to have that on? I mean, I suppose I could keep it on... Uh, let's actually go find out what your name was because I forgot it. Aramis. I suppose I could keep it on Aramis and just use Aramis more. 
The only problem is they're they're pretty squishy, and they also don't do a ton of damage. Um, unless you specifically, like, they, they target enemies that are guard sealed. That's kind of my problem with them. They're so fast, but usually they just get blocked, so... Yeah, that's kind of the problem. Like, they're, they're best against, like, thieves and stuff. That's usually my main issue with them. Uh, oh, my dual sense, uh, is low. Uh, I could give it to Virginia and start using Virginia more. Because Virginia, I was thinking, would be very, very good here. Because, uh, yeah. This becomes a true strike against flying targets. So, I do think I am going to use Virginia. So let's give Virginia the King's Blade Cornix. Just a straight up super strong weapon for you. And I'm going to want to use you here because, uh, yeah, you're quite strong. I'd been meaning to put her in in the previous fight, but I will be honest, it completely slipped my mind. Tag, you're it. How am I supposed to play tag with an angel? They did work on it, kid. All right, so... That's all of this taken care of, and this is, once again, a very large portion of the map we have filled in. We didn't have a romance last time, so I am going to try to have a romance this time. Pray and trust this town and its citizens to me. No harm shall ever come to them again. Uh, I can... Which means that I, uh, need a unit to station here. Why are you doing this for us? I mean, uh, thank you. Okay. Armor. Gale Cutter. Attack two enemies, 80 potency versus flying targets. Yeah, that's pretty good. It doesn't have 100% accuracy, but that's still pretty good. Relic Heal? Activates after an ally's hit. Restore moderate HP and give HP regen. And that's pretty good. Gale Cutter, I think, is what I want more than anything, though. Okay, Provisioner. I'm good on Goat Biscuits, so don't need to worry about that. Now I just need someone to station here as a guard. Uh, which means we need to find a nice... cheap one to grab. I've exhausted a lot of these early ones. Here we go. Let's go over here and get some. Uh, sure. Give me some Hoplites. Good call. Alrighty. Uh, there was only one of those left, so give me a thief too. Well, well, well. And I'll just go ahead and exhaust the thieves. The thieves. I feel stronger than ever. Here we go. I like your outfit. The the purple and the pink. I mean, you'd stick out like a sore thumb on the battlefield, but still, it's nice. Aesthetically. Hello. People are actually smiling again. My mother and father included. Thank you, human. You're welcome. Station. Here you go, Eugene. Keep an eye out. So I'm I'm basically gonna explore until we hit the next bit of like story progress. Then uh, I think I'll go take care of some things around the map for this episode because I want this to be kind of a shorter one. And I also want to make sure I have enough time to do my stuff. Won't seem to open. Bisfane Basilica, the seat of Albion's government, lies just beyond this gate. I know I could fly there if I wanted, but it feels isolated somehow. Okay, and then if we come down here... Yeah, we're starting to run back into this place. So we're starting to meet up with where we were. Uh, here's the battle. You encroach upon orthodoxy land and I shall hereby see you punished! Alright, Alexia. Citron pool. Okay. Uh, the Liberation Army sets out to defeat Alexia and frees Sepunctual Harbor from Zenoiran rule. Alright, I guess we can do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what do we got? Not much. Let's see here. So I definitely want to, in Elaine's squad, I want to put... So we had Scarlet in, we have Chloe. I think I'm going to take out Berenice. And put in, uh, what's her face? Virginia? I mean, I just- I feel like she'll be really strong here because of that ability. I honestly should have been using her before this point, but... The only other problem is, uh, you know, ideally she- you, you want to put her in the front line, I guess? But, I mean, I guess it would give more 
people for them to target in the front line, which could be very useful. Uh, quick cover for the back row, Maiden's Hammer, activates after an enemy attacks, counterattack. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, yeah, if there's an armored target, it'll check for that, otherwise use Vertical Edge. I mean, she's really strong, so... Currently you have a Knight's Medallion. Physical Defense, Physical Defense, and Guard Rate. Kinda want you to do more damage, I'm going to be honest. Uh... Hmm... Maybe I give you the Warrior's one instead. You'll have less Guard Rate this way, but... Hmm. Let's see here. Where's one of those berets? You're using one. We'll give you... No, uh, not a beret. Let's give you one of the attacking medallions. Warrior's medallion. We'll take it off of uh, Berenice, since we just took her out. And currently have a squire's shield, and which gives you quick cover. So you can cover for an ally. You don't really need that as much now. Activates for being hit by melee attack. Negate melee damage for a single hit. Yes. That sounds wonderful. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and then you get one AP back for that, which... Oh, God, yeah, that sounds fantastic. Thank you. Okay, let's use that. So, uh... First things first... We might want Morden back in. Uh... Yeah, let's put Morden back in. Just because I want to be able to smash. I suppose I could put one of my uh, other breakers in, but it's it's fine. We're already here now. Uh, good. Destroy those. I'm going to go through the forest to defeat these enemies. All right. And... Ooh. Uh, the parries. The parries and the evasion. Um, hmm. I was like, why are we getting... Why are we not faring very well against them? Let's, uh, grab... Let's see. Gloucester's unit. This unit. This unit wouldn't be too bad either. Let's send in this unit after them. Yeah, there we go. And you... Go right there. Restore HP. Okay, that's annoying. Hopefully we still fare pretty well. I wonder if they, like, actually have a pool that they use. Like a pool of Valor points that they that they start the battle with, or possibly earn as the battle goes on, or if they can just, like, use them when they please. Like, obviously they have a time that it takes. Uh, let's just go ahead and kill them with this. Both of us are quite pleased. May this good, good. I realized I'm just showing this fight now, do? but... I mean, it's a pretty quick fight, so... You'll never win. Oh, they're trying to be cheeky over there. I did it. You're trying to be cheeky. Hello. How about you My don't do that? I see yeah, what you're doing. Help. Okay, so get in there. You tried. Death summons you. Bye bye. Don't resent me for this. There we go. So get in. Oh my God! They're spawning them so quickly. This be quick. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez, they're, they're, those things are coming out of there. Just leave it to my me. God. Just yeah. So they're just sending the sending the line of enemies right at us. Jeez. Okay. Very easy. Um, hopefully Virginia will get her time to shine soon. I do think it's a pretty good squad there. So... I guess there's our battle for the episode. We're of course going to be having some more battles, but... It's um, probably mostly just going to be... I was thinking to catch up on, some Col on the Colosseum and do the Animois stuff. It's a providence or sweet indeed, salvation! I always believed the day would come, blessed be the Father above. Rumors claim to be envoys of heaven, sent by our creator to shepherd this land from evil's corrupting touch. And I for one believe every word. Eh, I don't, I wouldn't go too far. We're, we're not all that. We're just people wanting to help out other people. We exist. 
without divine intervention. <laughs> Not ex exactly the zealot my friend over there is, but I am grateful. Thanks for coming to our aid. You're welcome. Uh, station guard. What's the armor you got? Know if you require assistance. Grant an ally. Eh. Inquisitor, healing hunter, base one, base PP plus one, magic defense plus five. Ignores thirty percent of the target's defense. Activates after an enemy uses healing magic. Unguardable. That's pretty good. May the Father bless you. And then they have the wyvern claw and the sniper's lens. The sniper's sniper's lenses are pretty good. Go to ship here heading for a secluded shore. Wouldn't call myself a religious man, but your support has been a true blessing. Thank you. Let's board the ship. Does this finally go to that place I've been wanting to get to? That like one island out in the middle of the ocean? Oh my god, it does. Finally! The hippocampus carving. Now, how exactly this helps me out, I do not know. But we're here. Fine shard, fevrite, and a dew of illusion. Ooh, hello. Um, who needs a good old dew of illusion? Another one. Have I given one to Liza? You know who I know I have not given one to? Virginia. There you go, Virginia. Strange carving on this monument. It had to be hidden somewhere in this nation, but we'll never find it without the relevant journal. Okay, so does this... I guess this counts... Yeah, this counts as an Albion carving. I was wondering, I was like, where does this actually pertain? Because it's close over here to Bolivia. But yeah, since we access it from Albion, I'm guessing it, you know, relates to Albion. Hello. Alright, so we should be running up soon on another battle over here. We've successfully connected these two parts. Which is very cool. So now we can start gaining access into the inner bits of this place. Alright, I would go do that battle right now, but let's uh, make sure we have the time to do other things. So if I can use this watchtower. Moonlight Great Shield instead of Great Sword? Interesting. That seems like a pretty good one. Alright, so that's done. Like I said, I think I want to do the Animoi and then maybe um, we can work on uh, the treasures and Bastorius as well. So let's board a ship. Yep. We got some things to work on. So what do you need? See, found. Thank you. Alright, so Swordmasters and Vikings, they're only level 35. I mean... Pretty sure, yeah, this squad can do it. Here we are. Excellently done. I only pray you put this reward to good use. Notos' sword. Base AP plus 1, initiative plus 10, evasion plus 10. Wait, don't they all do that? Still a very good sword. Three armaments of the Anima still remain. AP plus one, you say. So you have the King's Blade Cornix. No, no, so yeah, these are Yeah, these are the Animoi. The the things that give plus five to all stats are from the um sculptures and stuff. Hmm. Who do I want that on? Uh They all use axes. Would be a good weapon for, like, Govil. Um... These two use swords... Yeah, I'm thinking it'd be good on, like... You know, a lot of units. This is a Norman Knight Sword is kind of hilarious to have on a lane, but... It gives you 15 extra HP, which is fantastic when you're in the front line like that. Um, I do have more Cloth Gauntlets to give you a lane, so let's upgrade that. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I just like having a lane be a tank in the front line there, but it can go on, like, Berenice or Magellan, probably. Let's put it on, uh, Berenice for now. Here you go. It is just a very, very strong sword. So, here you go, enjoy. 
Uh, against allies. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that on. 30 accuracy and immunity to blindness. This buff can't be removed. That's why I had you in there. Whoopsie. I probably want to put you back in then. Uh, okay, let's just replace you with Morden. Let, or let's replace Morden with Berenice. So we still have that buff to help us out that I set up last time. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty strong squad now, I think. Alright, that's another one of those. Done. Uh, is this another one? It is. There's also a stone circle over there I haven't used. The meteorite weapons aren't as crazy these days, though. Okay. Archers, and... Well, okay, you're gonna get destroyed by the squad. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Gimme. Excellently done! Apeliotes' bow? I'm really, really bad at those kinds of names. But, uh, yeah. Cool. I will probably put that on... Probably Unifi or you. You're currently using the King's Bow, so I'll give it to Unifi. Here you go, Unifi. Ah, uh, this gives you base PP plus one, though, which is the only reason you can utilize that thing. I guess it's not the only reason you can utilize it. Let's give you this. Here you go. Boom. Yeah, you seem pretty strong. Alright. Cool. So you still use Wolfpack. And yeah, it's at the start of the battle. Okay. That looks good to me. So... now... Uh, obviously there's none of these in Cornea. So the other ones have got to be around here in various places. One of them's like right up here. Octopus carving. There's the final one I haven't done. Okay. So right over here. Let's see. And we get access to it by... Can you get out of the way? Houses. Alright. There we go. Right over here is what we want. Uh, didn't even look at what you were all about. Um, ooh. Okay. Um, a little bit problematic there. I'm guessing. Yeah, those knights are doing some very annoying things to me. Um, uh, let's mess with your unit a little bit here. Currently we have Labrys, Steel Axe, Vorpal Axe, and the King's Bow. Um, let's try taking you out and putting uh, the one other one of you I haven't been using back in. Amelia? No, we fare way worse, actually. Huh, I didn't know she was making that much of a difference. Like I said, I didn't get a good opportunity to look at a, what exactly you're doing. So, what are your details? So, Pile Thrust, Wild Rush, Assaulting Lance, Knight's Pursuit, Cavalier Call. So, yeah, they're doing the Cavalier Call thing. Lips's Ring? Max Initiative for an action. So, someone gets Max Initiative. Sacred Heal. Remove all debuffs, restore HP, activates for being attacked. So they have refresh and quick heal. I actually don't know how they're surviving so well. Um, okay. I clearly want a bunch of stuff based around- oh. Oh, I just got better odds this time. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Uh... So if I just increase someone's damage a little bit, probably. Like, if I get rid of this clear side amulet on Fran... And possibly give Fran, like, one of these. That might just win the fight for me. No. Who is surviving with one HP? God, I hate your magic pixel bullshit. Um. God, I hate when they do this. Uh. I'd give uh, Govil, I guess. Are you shitting me? 
God damn it! <laughs> they have like two HP. Um, put someone tankier here. Sh strong. Mm. Let's see. Uh, like Lex is fine, but I need someone that could possibly do big damage to them in the frontier, because they're not hitting us with the ranged attacks anyway. Uh, Bryce. There we go. I just needed someone tankier on the front because Lex was getting destroyed. There. Lips's ring. So, I'm not actually super into that one if I'm going to be completely honest. God, that's them surviving with like 2 HP. So annoying. Alright, Lex. Uh, where'd you go? There you are. And let's also fix you two. You need that blind cure again. Uh, where is it at? They're up here, aren't they? Yeah. So, clear sight. Gimme. And... Let's see, that's good. And I need another one on you. And you're specifically the one I believe I put the actual cure on. So you can actually cure people. There we go. Okay, okay, there we go, we did it. All right, so, I mean, I guess we can look at the, look at the ring just to make sure I didn't miss anything, but it seems like it just gives an ally max initiative, basically. Sort by order acquired, then why isn't it up at the top? Order acquired. Oh, okay, it was ascending, descending, I guess. So yeah, Grand Sonale, max initiative on their next action, cannot target self. I mean, that's like, fine. It's 3 PP though. Like, I'm sure you can do some pretty crazy stuff with it. I just find I'm generally not interested in like, the very specific, like, hyper-specific builds. Wait a minute. What's going on over here? This is a thing I've never- Oh my god. Look at this. What are the rebels doing in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> I missed this. This light's been sitting here. Here we go, use the swell. Yeah, I hadn't even noticed that uh, it was just chilling out here. Look at these babies. Look at these babies hanging out over here. Yeah, this was just chilling here. At the bottom. Okay. Oh, there's also a stone circle. And another sigil trial? Oh my god, okay. So this has been sitting here for a moment. <laughs> Level 6 and 7. Yeah, I mean, the map's so big, it's very easy to just, just forget about some of these things. Uh, Alright, I do think we need to go ahead and focus on getting a romance in, though. But I guess I'll come do these at some point. It, it's gonna be, like, no time at all needed. I'll just run right over them, but... All right, who do we want to? Who do we want to romance? Rapport. Um, Shan's getting up there. Kitra, Nina, Selvi. Kind of interested in Selvi. Selvi seems like an interesting one. Magellan's nearly maxed out. Oh, that's not. Never mind. Not an option. Uh, Rosalind... Ridiel, we're pretty far along with. Uh... Let's see. I mean, I guess we don't have a lot of time. I should probably do the ones that require the least amount of, uh... Conversations. So... We've done two of Sharon's. So... Bulgen Church. I might not, I probably can't do that one. Let's do... Where's one of the characters that don't have a third one? Jeremy? And Magellan? But I can't do Magellan. Probably gonna be Jeremy. Yeah, let's do Jeremy. Alright, uh... Or actually, Athelion would maybe be better because I've already done yours. Yeah, never mind, never mind, changing my mind. Athelion, let's go. Alright, so... Where are you hanging out at? Uh, oh wait, these are poor conversations. Athelion, Athelion, Athelion. Where did you run off to? 
There you are. So, question is, what exactly do you like? Do you like to read? No. Do you like cooking? No. Um, decorating. Okay, decorating's not bad. Music box? Okay, music box. Yeah. There we go. Alright, report level three. If you're sure I'm deserving of it, then I'd be glad to accept. Alright, come on, you're gonna become the maiden. Let's go. Maiden time. Alright, let's save. And see what this is all about. I haven't really used the Thelion much since, uh, since we got them. I've used some of the other elves, like Ridiel and Rosalind and Eltalind, but I should probably, uh, try to make another squad of them to utilize. They don't have such an obvious buff like the Angels and Bestrals do, though, where they're, uh, you know, like, super, super good at a specific time of day or anything, but they are good against archers and stuff. Alright. Hit me with it. What you got? Was there something you needed from me? Uh, nah. Sorry, I think there's been a mistake. Not a problem. I'll be off then. Bye, Athelian. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty simple. Let's see it again, though. And say, hey, I want you to be my maiden. I'd like you to have the ring of the maiden. Are you certain the role is mine to have? I am. History will surely sing of your undying loyalty. And I can only hope they depict it at my side. Oh, Rosalind is seething right now. Not to mention your skill with the sword. Such talents are a gift to the world over. It's nothing that remarkable. Just what's expected from Ter Rosalinda's personal guard. I only pray she won't mind sharing. Ah. So you're the one that says Rosalinda instead of, uh, Rosalind. To be frank, I have reason myself to swear this covenant. Namely, keeping my Terra safe. Alina, too. Indeed, and Galerius's downfall will finally bring the peace that Elheim has craved for so long. Then it seems I only have one choice here. My blade belongs not only to Ter Rosalinda, but to you as well. Thank you, Ethelion. Your strength should prove invaluable in the days to come. I swear it will. And believe me, I don't make promises I can't keep. Okay. I mean, that was a pretty by-the-books one. It was more like, you know, he was swearing to be my sword. He was becoming a vassal, basically, more so than anything. Alright. Well, then. I believe that is it for now. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.